ADEX Optional Calibration Interstitial fluid, also referred to as intercellular fluid. It is the fluid that resides in the spaces between cells within different tissues of the body. Its primary function is to act as a medium for the transportation of various substances between the blood vessels and the cells of those tissues. In simpler terms, it acts as a bridge between the bloodstream and individual cells, facilitating the transport of oxygen, nutrients, salts, hormones, water, and other substances. It also assists cells in getting rid of carbon dioxide, one of the most crucial nutrients for cells and their primary source of energy is the glucose. Therefore, glucose is constantly present in the interstitial fluid at levels parallel to those in the blood. However, there is a time lag of approximately 5 to 40 minutes for glucose to move from the blood vessels to the interstitial fluid. In practical terms, if we were to test blood sugar now in a blood sample, and it yielding a result of 140 mg by dl. A continuous glucose monitoring CGM, device should ideally display a reading of 140 mg by dl within a maximum of 40 minutes. This is because CGM devices measure glucose levels in interstitial fluid, not indirect in the blood sample. Due to this time delay and various other factors, there may be slight discrepancies between the readings obtained using finger stick blood glucose readings and the results obtained from a CGM device. An ADEX It is a factory calibrated CGM. This implies that ADEX does not need manual calibration. Nevertheless, some users might find comfort and familiarity in calibrating it, especially if they are used to specific home-based glucose meters. Before it commence the calibration process, it is important to grasp when calibration is necessary following a simplified guideline from ISO 15197-2013. We refer to this rule as 20 mg by dl or 20% mg by dl. If the reading from the glucose meter is less than 80, then the allowable range is plus or minus 20 mg per deciliter from that reading. So for example, if the glucose meter reading is 70 mg by dl, which is a value less than 80, then the CGM device reading should fall between 50 and 90 mg by dl. There is no need for calibration. However, if the glucose meter reading, for instance, is 150 mg by dl, which is higher than 80, then we apply the plus or minus 20% rule. We calculate plus or minus 20% of 150. The acceptable results should be in the range between 120 and 180 mg by dl and find more details in the video description. Alright, if we still need to perform calibration, then we must consider the following points. Calibration should be carried out exclusively when blood sugar level is stable, irrespective of whether the ADEX reading is high or low. It must be accompanied by a single horizontal arrow to confirm that it falls within the stable range. Therefore, it is advisable to avoid calibrating during times of rapid glucose fluctuations, such as right after meals. This can result in ADEX readings later consistently being higher than they should be. Likewise, it is advisable to refrain from calibrating the device when blood sugar is rapidly falling, such as after vigorous physical activity. This can lead the device to yield lower results than expected, potentially triggering unnecessary alarms that could be prevented. ADEX devices should be calibrated at least 6 hours after installation, and calibration should not be performed more than once a day. Please note, applying pressure to the sensor can lead to lower readings than expected, such as during sleep. Therefore, it is advisable to install the device away from the waistband area. 
from the home screen. Select BG or blood glucose page. Then enter the finger stick glucose value. You do not need to manually input the finger stick time. The app will automatically populate it with the current time. Nonetheless, it is essential that the BG value comes from a test conducted within the previous 5 minutes. Now, click Calibrate button. A pop-up message will appear, requesting your confirmation of the value, with two options, Cancel and Calibrate. Choose Calibrate. This event will be recorded and displayed on the curve with a red blood icon. You can view it by clicking on any point in the curve within the 30 minutes before and after this event. And ADEX will show identical results of the finger stick result if the calibration is accepted. You can also use the BG page to record glucose test readings at any time without calibrations. Input the finger stick glucose value. Enter the finger stick time. Select the time slot recording, empty stomach, after breakfast, before lunch, after lunch, before dinner, after dinner, before bedtime, nighttime, or random. Click Record. In such a scenario, ADIX readings will not be calibrated with this value. However, we will have a record of BG readings displayed on the ADIX trend. This video serves to provide insights into the functionality of the ADIX Continuous Glucose Monitoring System. It is essential not to disregard any signs or symptoms associated with high or low glucose levels. In the event that your glucose alerts and sensor glucose readings do not align with your expected symptoms, it is strongly recommended to verify your glucose levels using a standard blood glucose meter. Consult with your healthcare provider for guidance on diabetes management and treatment. Diabetes Cloud. Live with freedom.